Stop recording. Stop recording. But okay, I'm now about to cook some of this. Well, all of this risotto. Um, I can't say if it's going to turn out good or yuck or what, but I'm going to heat it up. And if it is disgusting, then I'll know never to eat this again. But I'm hoping it'll be okay. Um, a previous video that I did, it's uploading right now. It's on my phone and it's uploading. Um, I couldn't share a link properly, but it is to a story of RZIM or Ravi Zacharias Ministries coming out with unfortunate news that some allegations that occurred during the lifetime of Ravi Zacharias have turned out to be more credible than otherwise believed since he kept on denying things that were being that he was being accused of during his life now that he can't defend himself his family are essentially defending what they know about him which isn't very good not only his family but a few other people according to some of these videos so i'm sharing the link in this video to part one if you click on the channel where it's got the um christianity today and a subscribe button you can click on the channel and look at part two it'll be in there if, if you don't find it i'll share it in another video but when i tried to share the link in my other video which is currently uploading it didn't work stupid thing so now i'm going to do this cooking video and hopefully share this link um you meant to click on share then copy link and i thought i'd click on copy link and maybe i didn't or maybe when i did sometimes it doesn't you know do what you think it does anyway here we go let's do something nice instead of talking crap all day or talking about <laughs> other people there's the idea of talking about people when they're dead too. Well, dead people don't talk, so I have opinions about that, but that will be for another video. That will be for another video. You know, we all need to remember that when someone is alive, they've got all the opportunity in the world to fix mistakes, but once they're gone, you know, that's it. So, with that out of the road, um, I'm going to cut this thing open or without making a flaming bloody mess. Might have to get someone to come and help me. Uh, no, I'm doing it. I'm cutting it open now. Smells really yum. Smells delicious. Is it going to be as yum as what it smells? Because it smells absolutely beautiful. So, like I always remind people when we're doing cooking videos, please have clean hands because you never know what your cooking is going to be like and it needs to be reasonably hygienic. Can I fit all of this into this sauce? Please fit it all in there. I might not have used a big enough saucepan, but let's just see. Let's just figure this out. Now, to my subscriber, I'm sorry if this doesn't work out as well as I'd hoped. I'm really sorry. I am trying to be nice about, you know, when you're helping me with food, I do try to cook things in a nice way that represents how young the food is but i'm sorry if it doesn't turn out i don't mean it if it doesn't work out but in saying that don't get your hopes dashed too quickly because it smells extremely nice and i'm only saying that because you know what i'm like when i cook i do make mistakes and food can turn out badly and it's not your fault so don't blame yourself if i don't like the food please do not blame yourself I don't want you to be angry at me or to feel like you need to be offended. When you don't, it isn't your issue if food isn't nice. You know, you're helping me out. Thank you so much. You did the right thing. Whether food is good or bad, it's not your issue at the end of the day that you're trying to be helpful and you don't mean it if food isn't as nice as you thought. So don't 
go beating yourself up if I don't like it, all right? In saying that, I may absolutely love it because it smells quite yum. And I had it in the fridge for exactly two days from now, so two days ago, because yesterday when I checked it, it was still quite frozen. Some large packets of food can take more than one day to thaw out properly in the fridge. And I didn't get it out and leave it on the bench at all. I got it out, I put it down so I could open the bloody fridge without spilling stuff, and then I put it straight in within like two minutes. Um, it was on today's Thursday, exactly Tuesday night, okay? Now... I'm going to start cooking it now, like heating it up, till it's really warm. Now, if it turns out great, that's good news. If it doesn't, nobody meant any harm. Food can be good, food can be bad. So don't go beating yourself up, alright? In saying that, I'm hoping it will be very yummy. And we'll be happy. So if you have to get more food bank parcels... Please keep asking for the risottos. I want to keep eating them. Just assume that that's how it will be because it smells yum. And we'll leave it at that and I'll start cooking. I'm going to empty the rubbish bin out a minute. It's getting full. It's getting full. Okay. Turn this stove on and start heating it up. I hope I haven't dropped, oh, I've dropped a bit of stuff. Uh, hang on. I'm going to wipe my stove before I start cooking. Because I kind of don't want food everywhere burning and causing smoke on the stove to then... Um, oh, I dropped a lot of stuff. Hang on. Got a lot of stuff everywhere actually. Yeah. Come on, I've got it all over the stove. If I start cooking now, the stove is going to get hot and smoky because stuff will stick to it and it won't be good. If these packets of risotto do turn out good, please, subscriber, keep giving them to me because, oh... I love eating packets of frozen food that you cook and, it, you know, that we just cook up. It smells so yum. Oh, I hate cleaning stoves. It's a horrible job to do. It is a horrible job. Because you've got to clean the stove properly because it can get extremely hot, as you know, and burn up anything that is on the stove. So yeah, you've got to be careful with it. Clean off the bottom of this thing, it is dirty as all pike. I don't want to say the word. As dirty as all pike is all I'm going to say. I know one bloke, um, before he died, he used to say, don't say words that cover words that you mean. For example, pike could mean piss or frig could mean fuck. But you know what? That's a bit of a cop-out because, yes, those words do have underlying words that you mean, but do you have to say those words? Can't you say the nicer word? Yes, it might really mean something else, but do you really need to say those words, honestly? Do you have to say the F word? If I say, oh, freaking hell, when I mean frigging hell, do you really need to say the word frigging? Like, for heaven's sake, if you know the word means frigging, don't say it. Say, oh, freaking hell or flipping hell. Say something different. Just because it means something doesn't mean it has to be said. You know, honestly, that's the kind of arguments I used to have with this bloke before he died a few years ago, but that was between me and this bloke, so... Uh, oh, excuse me. Hang 
I like me yeah, I don't know why this oh yeah it's okay Mo had to move the hot the uh, stove back a bit this is what I don't know what people can and can't see but this is what this video this <coughs> this is what this saucepan looks like now it's all cold and it's heating up I will show you when it is heated up what it will be like clearly needs to be heated up very well oh it's cold food it smells extremely yum it smells very nice But it is very, very cold and it is going to take a bit to heat. But if this food turns out better than I've even expected it to, I want my subscriber to please keep passing on these frozen packages of feels like stir fry. Feels like beef or chicken stir fry and if it is I want to keep heating them up and cooking them because ah oh, beautiful it's going to take a bit to heat this up I'm going to show you what it's like when it's fully heated, which will take a little while. Come on food, heat up. I just don't want to break, I mean spill any food all over the side of the frying pan. I hate reheating food, but when I do reheat it, I love it. Absolutely love it. Bring it back onto the hot plate because this is kind of being a bit stupid. There we go. Now I'm going to turn this down because it's very well heating up. Should have probably used a bigger saucepan but I didn't so let's just see how I go with this one and we'll hopefully have it heated up really well in the next it's going to take about 20 minutes to heat it all up because it takes a long time for the stove to heat food should have used a bigger saucepan I honestly should have used that bigger saucepan in my life. It's going to take forever to heat this up. Stove top heating, hey? Eh? Oh my god. If this food turns out extremely yum, I want to keep on buying these packets of food. Because it's probably going to be really yummy when it's heated up. It feels like a stir fry thing, which will be like really yum. But it has to be heated through properly in order to cook properly has to be heated through mmm yum
There's another one that I've got in my cupboard that my support worker bought for me for Christmas. You open a jar and you put in a big saucepan and you add, I think I need the instructions read out to me again, but you've got to add some stuff to it and then cook it. You can add pretty much whatever you want to it really, but it's designed to cook, you know. Move this over a bit more because I've been pulling it way off the hot plate. There we go, it's heating up now. Turn that down a little bit more to stop it burning on the bottom. Then I just have to slowly, slowly heat it up. I reckon this would be a good serving for a large bowl. I reckon. But I want this all to be very warm before I go ahead and put it in a bowl because I don't like improperly heated food. Yuck. Ugh. If I do find out that this packet of food is extremely yum, I'm going to get the other one out of the freezer and cook it up in a few days. And then I'll be getting my support workers to find where those packages of food are and keep on getting them. Because, yeah, this... Now it's not heating enough. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, I love eating lots of yummy hot food. Mmm, mm, stir fry. Yum. I like packages of stir fry that you heat up, cook. It's heating up nicely now. This is what it looks like so far, and it's heating up really good. Don't know what it's meant to look like, but for everyone who can see it, it should be pretty yummy. Fuck. Now I'm doing horrible things here. I'm dropping spoons and I'm burning food. I've just got the temperature up a bit high, that's all. It's not that bad. is isn't that bad. Plus I want my food to be very hot. You know, I don't want it to be cooked in the middle and cold on the outside. I don't want that. It's going to take another 10 minutes to get really hot because, yeah, it's not like a gas stove that just heats everything instantly. You know, it's not an instant heat. And everyone says, oh, you just heat it up so it's warm. I'm like, no, it's meant to be piping hot. It is meant to be piping hot 
and then in your bowl it cools down. I don't want just warm, lukewarm, crappy, improper heated food. It has to be very, very heated through. And no, not to the point that it is scorched, burnt, just to the point that when you put it in a bowl, it's going to take five minutes to cool off before you can eat it. That's how I know it's fresh and cooked properly. But that's me. That's only me. We all think a little differently about this. I like my food to be nice and hot. In fact, I'm so hungry right now that if anyone says, oh, this food would feed about six people, well, I'm going to eat it all because I'm a pig and I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So, food is nearly very, needs to be hot over 100 degrees centigrade to be considered heat. I like my food to be very warm. This is the process. So far. Camera chooser. Back facing. Button. Stop, Stop recording. Over. Button. Stop. Oh. What? What's his iPad doing? Speech on. Back. Okay. Camera. Stop. Stop. Stop recording. Okay. Speech off. Okay. This is what it's like so far. You can hear it. For anyone that can hear very well, for anyone that doesn't hear very well when they're watching or trying to hear the videos, it's bubbling. Sounds like a bubbling cauldron, but it's a little saucepan. I don't want the iPad to be too close to the heat, but here is what it sounds like. Okay, now I have to keep mixing the food to make sure it cooks without burning on the bottom. Yes, yum. Gonna knead this through and finish cooking, finish heating it up. I'm going to get a bowl out now, a big sort of eating bowl, and I'm going to get ready to serve it in and possibly have some bread with it. Oh, yum, bread. Mmm, I'll consider. Maybe I'll just have this without the bread and then just have sandwiches later for dinner. You know, I can do that. can just have sandwiches later for dinner <sighs> but mm, I like my bread this food is definitely heated up Wrong knob. 
wrong knobby bit. Stone is broken. Something like that. Anyway, I've got the stove sorted. Now, we're going to tip this into the bowl. This is heavy. How am I going to do this? That. Okay. Start chipping them in. Except it's sticky and doesn't want to tip in. Damn it. It's like a stew or something. Smells nice enough. sink. Definitely hot. Definitely hot. Go let that. Okay, put that here. Let that soak for a couple of hours because, yeah, it's going to be really, really warm. Turn that stove off. Take this to the table. Hang on a second. going to give the place a quick clean and wait for the stove to cool off in about 30 minutes and clean it off. I don't like, I don't know about you, but I do not like a dirty stove. Do not like a dirty stove. And there's so much food in that bowl, I don't think I will have it with it bread because there's a lot of food in there and I'm hungry. So why would I not eat it? I'm going to do a live taste test on recording. Okay. <coughs> this is what it looks like in my bowl. I hope it is going to be really yum. I'm about to taste some. I'm about to give it a taste. I've never eaten this before. So I don't know what I'm in for. But if it is bad, don't take the blame for it. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. But I am about to try it.
It's a little bit spicy. It's got chilli in it, but it's not so bad. It is not so bad. I don't know what to think of the meat in it though. I don't think it's very... Maybe it's alright. It's got a very thick consistency to it and let me taste the meat it could just be soft because of how it's probably braised and boiled and that before the food's packaged for freezing you know snap freezing I imagine that's what it would be like but I'll give it another taste just to make sure Yes, it's hot. No. No. I don't like the meat in this. I don't like it. At all. So yeah, I think I would give this food two stars because it's okay, but it's probably not the best. So I don't think I would keep eating it. But that's only my opinion, okay? Some people might really like it. Some people might really hate it. It smelt okay, like it smelt nice, but I don't really like eating soft. It tastes almost like the meat's half cooked. It could be fully cooked, but it tastes very, yeah, like it isn't solidly, it's not solidly textured meat and I don't like it. It's not like a bit of sausage that you get in spaghetti and it's a bit soft but it's alright. It sort of tastes like very, um, it has the texture of steak or chicken that isn't, I don't know the word. I don't know if it's undercooked or if it's just a very soft textured braising of meat and then you heat it up till it's cooked but it's still soft it just hasn't got a solid enough texture for me to like it so I don't want anyone to beat themselves up over it I do accept and appreciate offers of food to try that I've never tried before I may like some of it I may not like some of it that doesn't mean give up and don't give me any more food trials don't do that because there'll be something else that I really like, you know. But I considered I could buy those packages of food, you know, stir-fried veggies and meat frozen. But no, I won't do that because they seem to come out really bad. But <coughs> anyway, thanks for letting me try it. I'm not going to eat any more of it. 
the meat had too much of a soft texture for me to go okay it's all right like it was cooked, tasted too soft it wasn't it was almost too fatty rather than normal meat I don't know how to explain it, it just didn't taste the best so yeah I'm really sorry to give that review um at least I gave it a go at least I tried it I don't want all of you thinking that because I don't like something that you're terrible people or that you give me bad food because you don't some food is bad some food is yum and if I don't like something someone else might like it or I could have cooked it wrong maybe I cooked it in the wrong saucepan maybe it needed to be cooked for longer than half an hour maybe it cooks for an hour maybe because it just needed reheating it's just the texture of the food and I don't like it okay so don't go jumping up and down and oh no I'm a bad friend because you're not it's just that you don't know how the food's going to turn out till you try it you just don't know that and I don't know that either you know, I've bought foods that are disgusting and I've gone, why did I buy that for? That was just, ugh. And I've bought other foods and I can never eat enough of it. I eat until I'm just about sick and ready to faint. Yes, I'm being honest. <laughs> you know, it's just how food is. I cannot like or expect people to know everything. I cannot like everything. I can't expect people to be perfect with every single meal. It's never going to happen. I've cooked yucky food. I have cooked yummy food. I've received good and bad food. I have eaten good and bad food. I know what it's like. It's unless, you know, if anybody doesn't like me and they deliberately give me something bad, that's not the same as, hey, I got this from a food parcel and I don't want it. Would you like it? It's like... I don't know, I've never tried it before, but will I like it? I don't know. If I don't, don't feel bad that you gave it to me, just accept that I didn't like it. It's a fail, but it's not on you, it's not on other people that I fail, it's just I don't like something. <laughs> and yet there's other things that you've offered, you know, whether it be music or other foods, and that being from some subscribers, that I really loved. So it's not on you to decide you can be hopeful that I like something and if I don't it's not on you to feel like oh why did you fail me you didn't I just don't like it I don't have to like everything you don't have to feel failed yes it might be a failure crap you didn't know the food would be bad I didn't either I had no idea how am I meant to know? I can I don't have a crystal ball that says, ding ding, sorry, you've got it wrong. You need to not give me that packet of food or that particular CD album, you know, or don't share that song. Ding dong, it's going to be really bad. Or, yeah, give it to me, I love it. And I've never tried it before, but it's yum, I know that. No, I don't. I do not know anything. I don't have a clue until I try something and honestly the other supermarket meal that I received there was um, tuna mornay and there was a vegetarian noodle dish and oh what was the other one? Oh, damn it maybe that was it I can't remember well let me tell you they were all really really yummy foods they were so yum I'd eat the, it was vegetarian, it was a noodle stir fry, it had chilli in it, had lots of stir fry veggies, I heated it up in the microwave for about, oh what was it, four minutes? I think I had to heat it up for an extra minute because sometimes in the middle of the tray the food can be frozen so you've got to give it an extra minute, a bit of a quick stir, okay, all of that, but I'll tell you what, it was yum. <laughs> And someone who knows who they are was like, uh, it's probably going to taste like cardboard, I'm just letting you know, but take these anyway, and if you like them, that's good. If you don't, just don't worry about it, it's going to taste like cardboard. You know what? No, it didn't taste like cardboard. I'm going to buy them again. Does it matter if people think I've got it wrong if I buy supermarket meals as opposed to gourmet meals or light and easy? 
No, I don't, because it's up to you and your preferences, just like I have my preferences. So, don't feel bad if I didn't like something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it feels, oh, why did you have to eat something you didn't like? Well, okay, it feels bad, but you don't have to feel bad like you did something wrong, because, well, you didn't. People aren't doing anything wrong if I don't like something. I don't like everything, you know. Anyway, <coughs> that was my cooking and food review. I will be happy to do another cooking and food review. I'm going to like most foods. There'll be some things I don't like. Simple, you know. There'll be some things that I'll eat and think, oh, I've got to eat more of that every day. Especially if I like it so much. <laughs> so it's just how I am with food, you know. Um, and, you know, I tell support workers all the time, oh, I've tried this, don't get me any more of that, it's horrible. Or um, I know you're going to get up me because it's bad for you, but you know what, I don't care. It's yum and I'm going to eat as much as I want. And support workers for the most part are like, oh, that's okay, that's you eating it, not me. <laughs> So I'm like, I know. <laughs> so I'm going to like food, whether it's healthy or bad for you. And I'm going to hate eating some foods, whether it's good for you or bad for you. I don't like all foods. So don't stop letting me try all foods that you offer me of, you know, whoever is listening. Just because you think I may not like it, because maybe I won't, but there are going to be some things that I go, oh, so-and-so gave me that to try and far out, that was beautiful, I'm going to keep on buying it. Or if she keeps on offering it, I'm going to keep taking it. I'll even beg her, him or her to get me more of that food to the point of annoying them. <laughs> for them to say, no, buy it yourself. I'll be like, oh, it's easier if you get it for me. But in any case, I'll either buy it or I'll beg other people to keep giving me the food if I love it so much. You know, if I don't like it, don't feel bad and think, oh, I'm never giving you any more food you don't like it. It's like, it's not your fault. Just, you know, I guess it's just something you've got to accept that I'm not going to like everything that I'm offered, you know. It feels like a failure in a way, but it's not a failure. It's more that. A, I tried my best to cook that food and I didn't like it. There's some other foods that I cook and I love it. So um, with that said, I'm going to stop the video and I will be back with another video later and I'll do another food review oh, whenever I do another food review. I don't know what the packet is, but the packet of food was. It was like some kind of stir... <laughs> Ah, I'm sick of my stupid phone. It keeps talking all the time. I think it was like one of those packets of stir-fry slash risotto, which seems to be okay until you eat it, and then you think, oh, nah, I don't think so. But there's, there was cream in the fridge that I used for caramel tarts, and that cream came from a food bank parcel. Believe me, it was yum. Yummy. You know, fresh cream in caramel tarts. Mmm. Beautiful. So, not everything that I eat is going to be, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Just some things. But, with that said, I hope you all are having a good one. Um, and I'll speak to everyone again very soon. Speech on. Stop recording. Button.